team has published and others have published that wheat, irrespective of celiac disease vulnerability or not, wheat can cause intestinal permeability in every human, every human. And the, the, some of the fastest growing cells in the body, we regenerate new cells every day, and some of the fastest ones are the inside lining of the <coughs> intestines. So some people will eat wheat, there's damage to the intestines that occurs, intestinal permeability, but it's not pathogenic, that it heals. And they have a sandwich for lunch and they cause permeability, but it heals. And pasta for dinner cause permeability, but it heals. And I've used that concept and to say, and then one day, somewhere down the road, you cross an imaginary line, you lose oral tolerance, you don't heal anymore. And now you have systemic inflammation. Is that line of thinking fairly straightforward, or do we need to shift our thinking from that? So, again, some people, yeah, you are right. Everybody, not just the people with serious disease or gluten related disorder, when they eat gluten, they can increase gut permeability. Um, and, and again, some people, they brought this concept to the extreme by saying, because of that, everybody should go gluten free, because everybody will pay consequence of that. I believe that this is an oversimplification of a much more complex you know, situation. First of all, gluten is one of the many, many factors that can increase gut permeability, you know, stress, uh, excessive use of alcohol, uh, you, know, um, you know, infections, uh, you know, um, it, there are many, okay? So gluten is one of them, um, proximal bacterial overgrowth and so on and so forth. Uh, and, and that needs to be recognized. No matter what, though, you know, as I mentioned before, to really lose tolerance and develop problems, you have to have five elements, with gut permeability being one of the five. If you don't have the genetic predisposition or you don't have the exposure to right, you know, uh, environmental trigger or your immune system is not belligerent enough or they, the microbiome is defending you, despite that your intestine leaks, you're not going to develop problems, you know. It, it, the more I study gluten, the more I realize that to really put in motion all the machines of defense that we use when we're exposed to pathogens. And we unleash the same kind of weaponry. We are exposed to pathogens all the time. Thankfully, we lose the war very rarely. And when we lose the war, we develop infections. Otherwise, we'd be a disaster if every single time we're exposed, we lose it. By the same token, you know, everybody that eats gluten leaks with the gut, but very rarely that translates in disease because it takes much more really to get to the point to lose tolerance. So the point that I'm trying to make, you can eat gluten every day for your life and have your intestine leaks on and off all the time and that doesn't translate in disease. Or you can be an individual that eats gluten once a week and sure enough, that one time, because you have the perfect storm of the other elements coming in play will lead to break of tolerance. At that point, you are in that kind of vicious loop that, you know, ingesting gluten is not matter anymore.